Hey, you guys, and welcome back to another reading, okay? Let's see what's going on with Divine Fem, Divine Masculine. I was hearing this song, Playing Games, by um, Summer Walker. Playing Games. Somebody may be playing games. Um, this is some sick shit I'm picking up on. Like, somebody is just... This is like stalker energy. Who the hell is this stalking the damn collector? This is a fucking stalker I'm picking up on. A stalker. Yeah, discernment. Use your discernment at this time here, fam. Masculine, for sure. Somebody is stalking you. Communication. It, they could be... They Somebody could literally, like, be fucking with your communication. Tantric journey. You're on this journey. Coherence. You're going to recognize this. I feel like whoever this is, they've been doing this shit for a while. This person is a loser. This is weird. Divine Feminine Reverse. This could definitely be a karmic here. Throat chakra reverse. They're not going to say this. Like They're not going to tell you. But it's something to where you can't speak or something. Somebody's like tampering with your phone lines or something like that. Or with your um your cable, your um internet or something. Cosmic flower. Heart chakra reverse and consciousness reverse. This is somebody who plays multiple games and this shit is not even funny. It's weird. Realization reverse. So yeah, this is somebody who you don't want at all. This is a losing motherfucker who's sitting back stalking you. But they're like, this This person right here is trying to prevent you from having any kind of communication with anybody, okay? Or this is you with your losing fucking ass, bitch. This may be your losing ass here. Straight up. This is a losing ass motherfucker. Whoever the fuck this is, is a loser. Somebody is losing, like, tremendously. Because they keep, it's like they keep doing this same shit over and over to you. Somebody is trying to block your communication with other people, period. It's like, whoever this is, is not moving on from you, but they know that they don't have a chance to move forward with you. So it's like they're trying to hold you back from meeting anyone else or something, which is very strange because I feel like a lot of you all already are with someone. <laughs> this person keeps a very close eye on you and they also pay other people to keep an eye on you. Is what I want to say. I'm hearing remote viewing. This person is sick. Or this is you and you're sick. And you're over there crying sad as fucking hell. Fuck, bitch, nigga. You're a loser. Whoever the fuck you are. This shit is about to irritate me. And I'm not standing this energy long at all. Crown chakra. You're going to recognize something. Maybe about this fucking energy here. Awareness reverse. So somebody doesn't want you to be aware that that's what the fuck they're doing. Yeah, hope here. Look, somebody's a liar. Somebody, it's like whatever whatever you're going through, it's a lie. There's something that's being tampered with. It's, it's like something, yeah, harmony. I can't make this up. Somebody is in the shadows doing some lame shit. Like they're setting up shit for you to need help or something. Y'all remember when I was telling you the other day about this energy that um like something keeps breaking in your home or like something that should be working is just all of a sudden not working anymore. This person is stalking the fuck out of you. They're stalking the fuck out of you, bro. Solitude reverse. Balance reverse here. This is very strange. Base chakra. So it's like this person, this person is hooked on fucking phonics or some shit right here. Straight up. Destiny reverse. They know you don't want anything to do with them, but they still are stalking you. Mental conflict. Like this person wants you to be tripping. Like I know this was working when I left and then when I came back, it's not working. Love begins reverse. Somebody is playing little dumbass fucking games, partnerships and alliances. And they're also working together with other people to do this as well. Somebody is just trying to keep you back. They're trying to keep you like stuck. 
This is the energy of somebody that's sitting back causing shit to happen so they can come back and fix it. This is weird. Y'all hoes and niggas are strange. You will never fuck with this person. This person is sitting back monitoring all of your movement. It's like they can't go a day without watching you or making sure that you're not dating someone else or something like that. Or if you are dating someone else, oh, they're in the process of trying to break that up too. First of all, they're stealing your fucking energy here. Literally stealing it and they're still in your energy. This may be an itch. You don't even have to know this person. I feel like this person is in IT or something. Or there's some kind of delivery driver or something. Transformation. My main thing is they do IT. It's something with electronics. This person hacks into your shit. Sacral chakra reverse. Third eye chakra reverse. Yeah, temptation. This person falls for all kinds of temptation. This person is sick. No, dead ass for real. They're sick as hell. I heard the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> this motherfucker right here is strange. This shit is strange, bro. This this person is like... Ew. Like, ill, Like, for real, for real. Foundation achievements. You would never fuck with nobody like this in your life. It's like this, this person keeps causing shit to happen so that you have to go back and fix it. Sacrifice here, trapped in fear, reverse. This person is also trying to have you afraid. So you can call them, but you never will call. <laughs> You'll never need this person. I feel like whatever this is, you can handle on your own. They're working with other people to do this. I'm just trying to say the Bible rules. They're working with others. This is a fucking stalker, period. Like, they literally watch every move you make. I feel like they're physically following you as well. Yeah, because you have a firm foundation elsewhere. <clears throat> Masculine. Somebody is stalking the fuck out of your divine feminine. I mean, stalking her. Everywhere this person goes, this person shows up. But it's like they're not seen. They're everywhere. This person is all the time. Fam, you could have even expressed this to your divine masculine or to whoever the fuck. <laughs> whoever this big strong man is, you guys. <laughs> I'm just telling you, whoever this is that you're with, you've already told them. And I feel like this person may have started stalking you even more that you're with this person. It's like this person tries to cause something to happen to get into your home to put cameras in there. We. I feel like everywhere you go, they follow you. It doesn't matter, especially when you go to the gym. When you go into the gym to work out and shit, like getting your peace, this person is right there watching you. I heard they got a tracker on your car, soulmates. This person is tracking your every movement. Imagine building blocks here, round and round reverse. You would never fuck with no one like this. Ever. Like, ever. Somebody last name Jameson. Somebody last name Woods. You have a new life. Yeah, you got a new life already with someone. I'm going to tell you right now, this is a psycho. This this person here, you have a leg up over this person because you're not afraid. They want trying to tell you right here. This person wants you to be afraid and, like, call the police or have some kind of um emergency so you can call maintenance or something. This is weird because you won't ever call. It's like you won't ever call them. And then even if you did call, like, maintenance or something, your man, like, and then you don't, you may not even need to call maintenance because your man do maintenance or something or your, it's something your man can fix or something your child can fix or something you can fix or something. It's something like that. I really would just suggest you keep this person. But see, the thing about it is this person comes into your home when you're not even there. Co-create, yeah. Time to go. Go the distance. This person is not. They're refusing to leave you the fuck alone. This person will go anywhere you are. Anywhere you travel to, they follow you. This person literally stalks you. Especially when you post pictures. They're stalking your person as well. 
any pictures or anything that you may post, this person goes and they like scan the background to try to um get an idea of where you are. They may do some kind of recognition. It's some kind of recognition software. Or they just simply go, like, say if you uh, moved into a home or to an apartment, this person will go on Zillow and they'll search through everything. They don't care. This person is a loser. They sit back and do the same thing all day long. This person will get a job at wherever you uh, live. They'll get a job there. Or they'll get some kind of job to where... They have to come to your home, like delivery and shit like that. But they'll make sure that they're stationed like right where you live or something. Or they'll get a job close enough to where you live. This is weird. It's like this person is always playing some kind of fucking game. Serendipity. They're always playing some kind of fucking game here. And it's like they don't understand. This person does not understand. They need to leave you the fuck alone. Poised. 1848, okay. Somebody named Dana, Damien. It's a set of twins. Treasure Island. You're quite capable of solving whatever the fuck this is on your own. This is what I'm saying. You're like, this person literally wants you to run. Be scared. But this is not scaring you. It's like they want you to um, reach out for help or something. They want you to call because they're monitoring your calls. This could be like a security guard in an apartment complex or in a um, subdivision. They could literally do security. I feel like this person got a job solely to be there with you. And it's like when they see you and your person together, they get extremely mad. This is a mess. Clean it up is in the reverse. This person is very um, headstrong over you. Chaos and conflicts here. Peace reverse. Yeah. So, yeah, this person is trying to start shit. It's like every time you turn around, something is going wrong. Or something is out of place. Because they want you to... They, they're trying to push you out of your home or have you invite someone in. Or needing assistance. You dig a rule? They want you to put in some kind of work order so they can have a reason to come in your home. But I feel this person comes in your home anyway when you're not there. Or they did. This could be a previous place you lived. <clears throat> so this is either your ex doing this or somebody you don't even know. This could be somebody that literally seen you. Especially if you do content. Like if you create content and you're well known. This person... Um, had been stalking you from like the background of your home or something. And you may vlog like um somebody might have did some kind of empty empty apartment tour or something. They went and they found out exactly where you lived. This is weird. Somebody already knows what kind of car you drive as well. This person spends a lot of money on this. Whatever it is, they spend money on it. Patience, reverse, angel of love. This person doesn't even have any love. They just, they just psycho. And they get very pissed off when they see you and your person together. This is just strange. Yeah, door to value is in the reverse. This person is about to lose it all. Because they're doing too fucking much. This person is abusing their authority here. Straight up. Action, reverse, our angel, Uriel. Masculine, this bitch right here is doing too much. Sis is on some bullshit, straight up. I'm gonna just try to say the vibes here. Divine masculine, if you've been feeling like somebody been watching you, it's this fuck nigga, it's this stupid ass nigga right here, or it's this bitch. Somebody is watching your ass. Blossoming abundance reverse, they're literally watching you like on a camera. Somebody got a Camaro, a burgundy Camaro. It's like this person tries to sneak in your home when you're not there to put cameras in there or to take something out. Because you know it's a chance you could find it. Communication. They're also listening. So they may have, I don't know, some kind of microphone in your home or something. Caring connection. Connection. Our angel Metatron is here. 
angel of balance. Something is going to balance out. I heard in due time. This God sees all. Don't trust me. Don't worry. Always be alert, but don't worry because this person is sick. Whatever they're doing, they're spiritually stalking you as well. This person may try to get hostile with your person. Like, this motherfucker so goddamn crazy. This person is psychotic. They'll try to go out and start something with your man or your girl. And they don't even know this person. They'll just start something with them because they may be watching y'all on camera and having sex or something. And they'll get pissed off with this person if y'all ain't supposed to be fucking. I feel like you can have sex with whoever the fuck you want to fuck. Like, this is your person. You with your person. You're with your wife, your husband. You can have sex with them if you fucking want to. Even if y'all ain't married. You can do whatever you want with your body. This person ain't got no fucking right coming in and out your fucking house. Putting cameras in your shit. Period. They ain't got no right. So whatever the fuck they may see, that's on them. This person is allowing they self to go fucking crazy. This is a fucking lunatic. It's like they keep setting up shit. And then they turn around and being anxiety. When you don't need their help. Somebody wants you to run, crying, calling them. You're never going to do this. This is what I'm trying to... I'm, I'm just trying to figure it out. You're never going to do this. They want you to be completely single and, and available to only them so that they can stalk you. But you're going to be victorious. Door to romance. Like I said, this person definitely is um, monitoring your every movement. Like every move you make, they're monitoring it. And I feel more so like in person... Yeah, our angel Michael is here. I can't make it up. It's more so in person with this person because it's like they have to have an eye on you all day long. You will think that somebody is paying them. No, ain't nobody paying them. This person is just psychotic. No, dead ass for real. Like, this person really needs help. Because it's like they won't stop. This person has a constant need to always see you or, you know, something like that. And they set up shit. They literally set up shit right here. You know, for something to go wrong in your home. Like, this is inside of your home. And they do this. It's like they watch your every move. They watch your schedule when you go in the house, out the house. When you eat and everything. They know. This person is trying to break you and your person up. Y'all be careful of arguing with whoever you're with. Be careful of that. Be careful of throwing away your relationship because I'm telling you, this person is in the background setting up shit right here. This person will go, and so this person will go so far as to set up your masculine or your feminine, try to drug them or something, and have them, you know, um, go home with somebody or do something like that, and then they'll record it. You dig a rule? They'll send this person in and have them record something. This person is sick. Because they want you all to themselves. Like I felt, they're working together with someone else. Your ancestors is not approving. They will never let you be with no one like this. This is a fucking weirdo. Keeper of secrets. I'm telling you the vibes here, fam masculine. I'm telling you. Someone is stalking your ass. They're watching your every fucking move. Every move. They want you to be terrified, afraid. But that's not working, so they're going to try something else here. Everything they're doing, nothing is working. This person can't create a way. It's like they're sitting there listening. They're listening to something here regarding you. They're listening to your conversations that you have with your person. This person is just making good shit. Unconditional love is in the reverse. This is not what you asked for. You would have never in your life asked for no uh, damn person like this. Who the fuck would want to be with someone like this? Yeah, ancestors here. Yeah, three graces and then green and bride. You, like I said, you could even be married to someone totally different. Or this is either your ex doing this shit or somebody that wants to date you. They're just interested in you. This person is infatuated. They're fucking obsessed. This is somebody who is trying to break up your fucking marriage or break up your relationship. They're trying to, like, a lot of you all are not single. Those of you all who are single, this person follows you everywhere. They, they cannot be trusted, whoever this is. I would really be cautious of people that you're meeting here. It's like they sit around, watch you all day fucking every day. Maybe you remind them of someone. I don't know. 
but they don't give this person no reason to come inside of your fucking home when you're not there for them to get a job working everywhere you are or stalking you all the time cutting your phone line gas line cable line whatever they cutting shit off this person is cutting shit off somebody air just gonna go out for no reason Like, your air is just going to go out. It's going to be hot as hell, fuck. You're going to be like, what the fuck? I could have sworn they just came and fixed this goddamn air. Somebody motherfucking refrigerator just going to stop working. And you had just went grocery shopping. This person is doing any little thing to try to get a reaction out of you or something. They trying to instill fear in you so they can know when to come in or something. But it's never going to be a right time. You don't give a fuck about whoever this is. You're already with someone. This this person is sick. I just do want to tell you that, bro. They are sick. This person has a mental disorder. They really do. And they don't see anything wrong with it. They feel like... I mean, how can you not see something wrong with fucking up something that was already... Something was already just fine. I heard if it ain't broke, don't break it. And if he ain't shook, I'm going to shake him. Hope I don't look weak. Because when a wolf cry wolf, you still see that wolf teeth, motherfucker. And we don't want no problems. Okay, you're a goon. What's a goon to a goblin? Yeah. And Kane on the beat. I fuck around and leave a nigga brains on the streets. Ooh. Now pop that pussy. I bring her to my bedroom and pop that pussy. Uh huh. And we don't want no problems. Whoa, keep my side, baby. Ballin' is my hobby. Okay? Magical help is on the way. This person right here is refusing. They need to let you go. They need to leave you the fuck alone. Like I said, you heard that. They're setting up shit. This is creepy. This is it's nothing fascinating about this person. This is the most boring motherfucker you could ever meet. Ever. You would walk right past this person. You would literally walk right past them. It's nothing interesting about them. Because they have an aura on them. They have a entity attached to them. Okay. And you would never date them anyways here. You dig a rule? You'd never fuck with them anyway. Because of the aura that they carry. You would walk right past this motherfucker because spirit would never allow anyone like this to come your way. They do little shit in the fucking background. This person is sick. Because I don't even feel like whatever they're doing is called for. We. They want to be needed some kind of way. Bitch, why don't you go do something to be needed then? And stop starting shit, bitch. How the fuck you gonna cause something to happen and then come in and act like you didn't know it happened? Or act like you just come in from somewhere fucking else when you were right around the corner waiting for someone to call you? This is just like a lot of y'all family. It seems like y'all keep running into the same spirits but in a different body. Y'all had family your whole life that was setting up shit and then would wait until you called them crying knowing goddamn well fuck they the ones that set that shit up. Yeah. It's that kind of fucking energy. that sit back and set up shit right here. They'll set up something only for you to need them. And you don't know that you need them. Whatever they're fucking with, they, they specialize in that. And it's like they come inside of your home when you're not there. This is a fucking lunatic. This person is psyched the fuck out. Straight up. And it's like they won't be seen because, you know, they, um... I feel like they got cameras inside and outside your home. And they listen. Like, they, they be listening to you as well. A lot of y'all, this person got cameras in your bathroom and shit. This person is sick. Y'all need to check y'all motherfucking homes for hidden cameras, bro. For real. But see, today is so damn advanced. Shit so advanced nowadays. This person is spending a lot of money on this. Whatever this could be. And see, I be telling y'all too. Fuck how much money a person got. That money shit don't mean nothing, bro. 
This person right here is crazy. They literally have no life. You are their life. Look, I'm telling you the vibes. And you already are with someone. You're not concerned about no motherfucking person like this that's sitting up here destroying your shit that was already fixed. They're inconveniencing you just so that they can come into your fucking home so they can make contact with you some kind of fucking way. You're not interested at all. And they know that you will never be interested in them because of the sick, dumb ass shit they're doing. Bitch, you sitting up here coming into somebody's home when they're not there. Who that nigga, you think this person want to fuck with you? You know they don't. This kind of shit here is irritating. This stalker shit is irritating, bro. Straight up. It's irritating. This person probably ain't got no family. You know, I don't, I don't know what the hell this person's problem is. But they'll psyched the fuck out. They want to be needed so fucking bad. Like, this person needs to be needed or something. You don't need them, though. That's what I'm saying. Journey reverse. A lot of you all are just simply going to fucking move because there's too many issues going on. Every time you turn around, it's a problem with this property. And I feel like these, these properties need to do fucking background checks, bruh. Y'all don't need nobody uh, help that fucking back to where they're stalking the tenants. Straight the fuck up. It be niggas like this that got a job doing maintenance or something like that here. Mm -hmm. Whoever this is, they have a key. This person is in bad help, literally in the mentality. This person is mindful. Like, this person, something is wrong with them. And I feel like people need to do a background check on motherfuckers for real, for real. Especially when it comes to housing and shit. You dig a rule? These motherfuckers be pedophiles and all kind of shit. And you just rush and get them a fucking job. They Anybody can put anything down on paper. You dig a rule? Seems like this person lied. They buried their old self or something. This person could have literally been in a mental institution. This person stopped taking their medicine when they saw you is what they heard. This person came across you and stopped taking their medicine. They thought that they were normal or something. And then they started back doing the same shit that landed their ass either in jail or in a mental institution, period. Okay. This person is psycho. They don't see nothing wrong with this either. This person has spent a lot of money. Whatever this is, they spent a lot of money on it. On all these gadgets and shit like that. You dig a room? This person gonna end up going to jail for this. They gonna have an official person. Yeah, this is only a main male. Whoever the fuck this nigga is. They don't want you to date anybody. Like, this is a psycho. This person psyched the fuck out right here. And they don't see anything wrong with it. They're very immature. Or this is you. And you're a fucking psycho. You need to leave this person alone. Truly. This shit is old. This person gets very upset when they see you with your man or your girl. But see, they're so determined. Bro, it's a lot of people in your world, bro. You do not have to be like this over no one person. So this literally could be your ex. A lot of y'all, I don't know why I feel like this. you don't even know this person. Like somebody might have seen you at the gym or seen you coming from the gym or something. And they just started literally stalking you. Yeah, this person comes in and out of your house. I'm telling you the vibes. They got some kind of key. And I don't feel like they stole your key and made a copy. No, this person is like maintenance or something. And also, too, be careful who you are letting do work on your home. These people will come in your home. I heard a squatter. Somebody got a property. Somebody has a property that they're rarely at. Somebody be coming in and out of your shit, bro. They did work on your home or something. This is weird. <laughs> this shit right here, brazy. This person is never going to understand until they get their shit knocked the fuck out. This person is really crazy. And I don't even understand how they got hired. I feel like people just needed help. Somebody needed help or something. Yeah. Child, you can have children too. This person is spying on you and your kids. They may be trying to even like uh trick your kids with candy and shit. Or snacks, money, something. This person is crazy, I'm telling you. You may literally have a whole goddamn family. Privileged lady, mature man. So you're with someone already. They're trying to break you up with this person. 
It's like they feel you belong to them. They like, okay, no, nah, you, well, you're not going to be with anybody, you know, but they know you'll never fuck with them, but they don't want you to be with anyone at all. This person can have all the money in the world, but they're just a creep. They're a weirdo. And may, why the fuck do I feel like you may even be aware of who this is? You might have literally saw this person. I feel like you've been in the same room with this person before. I feel like that. Because they, they had made sure that they were. You dig a room? Yeah. Occupation. This is what they do for work. This person does this for work. They're a maintenance man or something. And I feel like they're doing all of this truly because somebody might have sent them your way. I'm not even going to cap you down, fam masculine. Somebody could have sent them to you. Queen. Somebody could have sent them. But it's this, um, like a knight in shining armor kind of energy. This person is like, you don't need their help though. If this person would leave your shit the fuck alone, it wouldn't break. The fuck? It wouldn't need to be fixed if this fool would leave your shit the fuck alone. This bitch ass nigga or this bitch comes in your shit and they literally fuck your shit up. Or, like I said, if you live in an apartment complex or anywhere to where your shit is like located outside like um your table or something if your shit just goes out this person went outside and cut something off and they do that very often you might call your cable company or your phone company or something here and they're gonna tell you like it's nothing wrong you dig a room it's nothing wrong like we don't see any outages but it turns out they may send someone out to repair something and they're going to find a line cut or something. This person is crazy. This person will cut off your hot water and everything. Like, this person is psychotic. It's something that they do. Or they just could have a background in maintenance. Oh, we? Hey, who knows? Yeah, I cannot make this up. The Page of Swords, first card. They're stalking you. Page of Swords here. The five of cups reversed. The fucking seven of fucking cups. I mean, the seven of swords with the tower. King of pentacles reversed. This is what I'm trying to tell you. This person has spent a lot of money on like gadgets and shit. Stalking you. That's a, I'm trying to figure out. You got to be like an influencer or something. It's like something that you publicly do. Like this person stalks you like from there. It's an injustice being done here, period. And see, a lot of you all are single, but most of you all are not. Or if you were single, this, you might have been single when this person started. Like, they were, they were stalking you in the beginning. Yeah, high priestess, I know exactly what I feel. In the beginning, you were not single. I mean, you were single in the beginning, and now you're with someone. They have been stalking you this whole time. For a lot of y'all, this is somebody that just has a huge crush on you. You know, fuck that crushing shit, bitch. You'll get your ass crushed, fuck, nigga. For real, for real. This person knows to never come your way. Hey, man, reverse. There's a ten of down swords. This person is crazy. I'm telling you. Eight of cups. They're going to be forced to walk away because they're going to get caught stalking you. Or spirit's going to tell you a certain way to move so you can get away from this person. This motherfucker is crazy. A lot of y'all may have to literally go to a different state to get away from this person. Or you you went to a different state and they followed you all the way there too. Yeah, Ace of Cups reverse. They're mad. So the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups reverse. Three of Swords reverse. Nine of Swords. I mean, Nine of Cups reverse. This is not your wish fulfillment. Whatever the fuck this person is doing, this you don't want this. You don't want nothing to do with them. But it's like they're insisting on making something hard for you. It's like shit that, it's like, and this person wants to be obvious that somebody is following you around. They do little shit that's obvious that somebody is following you. You dig a room? This person may leave something behind, like, but they do it purposely. You might find some shit that wasn't there. Something may be in your house. It may be something very small, but they did that on purpose just to let you know that somebody had been inside your home. Five of swords reversed. 
this person is going to lose their shit. Something wrong with this person. Nah, dead ass for real. Somebody brothered on him. This nigga up right here. This person is psychotic. I don't know how many times I got to keep saying that. This is no, you would never date this person ever. It's like they're paying people to like follow you everywhere. They got people, they're paying people to do this. Which I'm trying to figure out because, and see, this could be a part-time job for this person. They may do like part-time security or part-time maintenance or something. You dig a room? And see, too, you know how some apartment complexes, if they have like maintenance men, they have an apartment there, too. This person could be literally right next to you. Security guards. Does somebody do security? No, not maintenance. That's security, right? If somebody do security, they'll get them a, a, an apartment in the complex. Yeah, this may be somebody that does security. But somehow they got access to a key, moon card, or they could have had maintenance let them in saying, hey, it's an emergency here. Let me in this unit. Or hell, them in maintenance might be in cahoots. Who fucking knows? This person is very resourceful. Yep, they're stalking the Empress. Libra energy. I promise you, you're going to notice something different. And I heard the energy in your home is going to change as well. It's like this person comes in like a thief in the night. Hermit energy with the three of pentacles. A lot of y'all, all you do is be to yourself. Somebody had been sitting back stalking your movement trying to make sure you were alone but then you ended up getting with someone and now they're pissed off with that this person is weak as hell fuck weak this some weak shit this is very weak like what the hell this person really gonna get hurt doing this like for real they are it's like they have the nerve they get some kind of satisfaction from it Nine of Wands. I don't want to take all these cards. This is this is for satisfaction for themselves. They'll never come towards you because they know you'll never be interested. This person has some kind of um self-esteem issue or something as well. How the fuck you got self-esteem issues on top of mental issues? Nigga, you got a lot of problems. This nigga got a lot of problems. This bitch got a lot of problems right here, masculine. I'm just telling you the vibes. This is weird. This is very strange. This person right here is not going up bad. This person going to get their shit. I'm telling you, sun card reverse. Something is hidden. Page of swords again. This, this person is watching everything you do. I don't know why I feel like this person is tracking your car and also got like shit in your home. Watching you that way as well. It's like they're trying to make sure that something breaks so that they can come back and fix it. Period. That's just period, you guys. That's what they're doing, for sure. And see, they had got pissed off. Whoever you is, bro. This person got so motherfucking mad when you got with somebody else. Like, when you started dating someone else, man, this person got pissed the fuck off. And I mean, like, mad. They ass is like, hell no. That's my girl. That's my man kind of energy here. We, but whatever position they may be in, this this motherfucking person is abusing. Like they're they're doing too much. They're doing too goddamn much here. Yeah, kissing ass is in the reverse. This person who's curious about you, there's like a ghost in your energy here for sure. Let me get all these cards. Let's see. This person right here going, they, they ass going to end up getting locked up. Straight up. Spirit do not like this person. Wow. Wow. So, like I said, they're trying to scare you. But scarcity tactics is in a reverse. You're not scared, though. That's what I'm saying. You're not scared. Look. Look at this. Obsessive lover. Look at this shit. This person is very obsessed over you. They're stalkers. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, bro. This ain't for everybody. This ain't everybody message, but you know, this this person definitely comes inside of your home. Your light irritate their demons. Hell yeah, dude, bro. 
more so divine masculine. You're not alone, though. Whoever you are, you're not alone. But this person hates that you're happy. They hate that. They're extra triggered in fact. Okay. I'm just trying to say the Bible rules. Because they're losing. And this person could have been neglected as a child. I mean, I don't give a fuck about your trauma fuck, nigga. You need to back the fuck back. Don't nobody give a fuck about that shit. You need to heal, ho ass nigga. Because when you grow up to do shit like this, nobody feels bad for you and what the fuck you been through. And see, people like this are trying to use trauma against someone. Don't nobody give a fuck for real. Nobody cares. Everybody goes through their own fucking trauma. Motherfuckers go through shit every day, but they're not going out here stopping people and fucking up their lives. They're not trying to have people stop, follow, and kill this shit. There's some people out here who done been through way worse, and they're not, they don't got a, a hateful bone in their fucking body. Straight up. And those are big facts and rules, is what Spirit said. Like I feel, this person be traveling to you. And everywhere you go, they and, and then this person also trying to fuck up your car so that you can't go anywhere because they need you to need them. They want you to be broke down somewhere. You will never fuck with nobody like this. I'm just trying to tell you, the vibes that this person got, you will never date anyone like this. They want your car to break down or something so they can just pull up. Hey, you all right? Kind of energy. You don't need this person. I keep telling y'all, y'all better use y'all fucking insurance, triple A. You better use your roadside fucking assistance, fuck. This motherfucker in a minute finna be mad because they're not gonna be able to look you up, okay? Fed up, threatening. Look, I'm telling you, this person slow as hell, fuck. This person is slow. Like, something is wrong with them mentally, but this person is very good with computers. How? I'm trying to figure that out. Yeah, this person... This, this person... This person... It's about to go to fucking prison. They're going to go to jail for all this talking. I'm telling you, fam. Masculine. They're going to go to jail for this. Somebody might be watching. Like, you may have a neighbor that be watching shit right here. You dig a room? Like, oh, I've never seen y'all together, but I be seeing this person kind of energy. Yeah. Somebody going to catch on to this shit. Or somebody already did. But I feel like this person may get caught by, like, someone else. Like, that's in charge. They may try to run. And they're trying to run you away from an offer. Somebody is trying to also set up your person. They're trying to set your person up to be put in a situation so that they won't make it back home to you. They, they want your person to stay out all night or something. Get caught up in something with someone else. But I'm telling y'all, somebody is setting this shit up. If this reading is resonating for you, someone is setting this up. You dig a rule? They are. I'm just telling you the vibes. They're setting this up. They're trying to make sure that um you and your person break up. That's what their main go their main goal is for you all to break up. Let me get one card, Daddy. Their main goal is for y'all to break up. Look, yes, I'm telling you. This person, they stalking everything y'all do. And they really stalk your person. Look, communicate clearly. This is what I'm trying to tell you. It's about communication or something. They're trying to cut your communication off your resources, everything. Matter of fact, clarify. I want to clarify this communicate clearly card. Because I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm pretty sure this person is doing some lame ass shit to your devices. Anything that is like communicate, anything you can communicate on or with, they don't want you to have any contact with anyone because they've already planted cameras inside of your home. What's this communicate clearly card? This person psyched the fuck out. This is weird to me because it's not even necessary. You did the room, it's not necessary. Whatever this part, didn't I just say this? Moon card. Like I said, they want you hidden. They're trying to hide your shit. Somebody wants you to miss an opportunity, bro. This person is... Look at this, bro. Magician, ten of swords. With a nine of damn ones and a seven of motherfucking pentacles. Four of cups. They're trying to make you miss an opportunity, bro. This motherfucker is sick. 
Shouty, this person is sick. Straight the fuck up. Hell fucking no. They lay awake at night. And it's like you know this. This person watches you sleep and everything. This is a fucking creep. It's like every time you make any kind of move, they're watching it. And they don't have nothing else to do. You may know this person. You may literally have... I, I don't know why I'm feeling like you saw them somewhere. <clears throat> like they, they, or, or like, no, like you, you came into passing with this person and they started stalking you. What the fuck type shit is that? You mean to tell me you can't walk past a motherfucker without them stalking you? Trying to break up your relationships and shit? This fucking King of Cups reverse. Scorpio Cancer Pisces. This nigga is fucking crazy. This is a psychotic ass nigga or a bitch, period. Look, I can't make it up, masculine fam. They're bringing a lot of conflict to y'all. Five of Wands. Man, that's the fucking truth. Thank you, spirit. That's the fucking truth, bro. This person is stalking you. And I mean heavily stalking. They're always causing some kind of injustice. Something is always going wrong with something that you have. Your shit was just fine. And then all of a sudden, the shit ain't working anymore. Or something like that. This is very fucking irritating, bro. They been doing this, though. It's like everywhere you go, they follow you. Which leads me to believe they're tracking your car or something. That's the Ace of Swords true. Straight up right here, fam, masculine. Okay? Either way it goes. I hope this helps you out. I'll see you guys later. I love you.